The largest city on Japan's northernmost island of Hokkaido, Sapporo offers many great reasons to visit. Although travel to this largely hilly region only became fashionable after it hosted the 1972 Winter Olympics, the city is more than making up for it now with events such as the famous Sapporo Snow Festival, one of Japan's largest winter events. This fun festival attracts more than 2 million visitors every winter, the city's year-round tally of visitors now surpasses 14 million. In addition, the city regularly hosts important international sporting events, as well as major political gatherings, such as G8 summits. Sapporo also plays a role as a major cultural destination and is home to some of Japan's best-known culinary dishes, theatrical and musical events, as well as points of interest and attractions such as museums and lovely parks that are well worth including on your Japanese itinerary. Find the best places to visit with our list of the top-rated tourist attractions in Sapporo. Number 10. Sapporo Science Center. A great place to visit for those traveling with children is the Sapporo Science Center. This modern facility includes more than 200 displays and exhibits, many of them hands-on and interactive, covering the natural and man-made worlds. Highlights include a virtual universe, displays related to weather, and a huge globe with the northern hemisphere projected onto it. A must-do is visit the refurbished planetarium, which walks you through a fascinating 4D depiction of the stars and planets surrounding us. Also worth a visit is the nearby Sun Piazza Aquarium, which offers an up-close look at local saltwater fish, as well as displays of seals, penguins, and a fun touch pool. Number 9. Sapporo Clock Tower. Another of Sapporo's surviving Western-influenced structures is the city's famous clock tower, Sapporo Tokaitai. Built of wood and closely resembling the kind of colonial-style building common to many U.S. small towns, a fact owed in part to the Americans involved in the planning of the city, the clock tower is a must-see on any visit to Sapporo. In addition to the still-functioning and chiming clock, other highlights include an interesting museum detailing the history of the region with a particular focus on farming. The facility is also used frequently for musical and theatrical productions, as well as community events and workshops. Number 8. Sapporo TV Tower. Built in 1957, the 147-meter-tall Sapporo TV Tower, Sapporo Terabitu, remains one of the city's most visited landmarks. Easily accessible from Odori Park, the tower offers superb views over Sapporo from its observation deck, as well as from its restaurant. In addition to on-site stores, the tower also houses an interesting exhibit on the ground floor relating to the structure's history, along with access to a large underground shopping precinct. A highlight of the tower's exterior are the large digital clocks installed in 1961. At night, it's certainly pleasant enjoying a meal at one of the many traditional food outlets close by as you admire the tower's illuminations. Number 7. But first if you are new here welcome. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if you found the video helpful. Do you know which famous landmark was used during World War II for potato production due to food shortages? Put your answer in the comments below and stay tuned because I am going to give you that answer soon. Now going back. Moranuma Park. In the Higashiku suburb of Sapporo, the open spaces and sculptures of Moranuma Park, Moranuma Kun, make for a fun diversion from the hustle and bustle of the city center. Opened in 2005 and 17 years in the making, this inspiring municipal park covers a vast area that is chock-a-block full of sculptures big and small. Many of them also double as playground equipment large enough, and perhaps even meant for, adult visitors. Visit in spring, and you'll see the splendor of the forest of cherry trees, its 3,000 specimens providing an incredible palette of color. The most notable landmark is a huge glass pyramid known locally as Hidamari. This attractive structure houses an art gallery along with a scale model of the park, workshops, a restaurant, and shop, 
Other highlights include the large stainless steel triangle known as the Tetra Mound and, dominating the site, the massive 62-meter high Mount Mora with its views over Sapporo. Try to plan your visit to coincide with one of the park's regular musical or theatrical events. In winter, activities include sledding and cross-country skiing. Number 6. Shikatsu Toya National Park. The Shikatsu Toya National Park, Shikatsu Toya Kukuritsu-kun, near Sapporo contains in its three separate parts a wide range of beautiful volcanic landscapes, along with many crater lakes and hot springs. The largest section of the national park lies at the very gates of Sapporo, making it an ideal day trip just an hour's bus ride away. A highlight is the 1,893-meter-tall Yodia, an extinct volcano that towers above the town of Kuchin. The town, in fact, serves as a good base for those wanting to make the four-hour climb to the three summit craters known as the Father, Mother, and Little Cauldrons. Also worth seeing is the Nakayama Pass and crystal-clear Lake Toya, a circular lake so warm, it can't freeze over even in the severest of winters. The lake also boasts a popular health resort, Toyoko Onsen. Another highlight is Showa Shinzan, a still active volcano, which came into being only in 1945. Number 5. Mariyama Park. On the west side of Sapporo is Mariyama Park, Mariyama-kun a multi-purpose natural area popular with visitors year-round. In spring, the park's 226-meter high hill comes alive with the stunningly beautiful blooms of its more than 1,700 wild cherry trees. In autumn, it's the turn of the many maple trees to show off as their leaves change into a cavalcade of reds and golds. The area is also popular among bird watchers, who flock here from all corners of Japan. Winter, too, is not without its own beauty. When heavy snowfalls carpet the park, it's turned into a playground for winter sports enthusiasts. At this time of year, the focal point here is the nearby Okurayama Ski Jump Stadium. Built for the 1972 Winter Olympics, it's still regularly used to host ski competitions. Other points of interest include the Okurayama Crystal House with its shopping and restaurant, and the Winter Sports Museum, an interesting museum about the Winter Olympics and related sports. The park also boasts a small zoo, the Sapporo City Mariyama Zoo, home to a variety of native and exotic animals. Number 4. Jozanke Onsen Hot Spring. Less than an hour's drive from Sapporo is the spectacular Jozanke Onsen Hot Springs. A trip here is a great summer or winter excursion that is well worth the time, especially if it can be combined with a stopover at one of the area's many fine spa hotels. Tucked away in a scenic valley with mountains adding to the spectacular scenery, the mineral waters of these famous hot springs have attracted many visitors from Sapporo and beyond, up to two and a half million per year since 1866. The Big Draw. The curative and restorative qualities of its sodium chloride-rich waters. All told, Jozanke Onsen boasts some 56 hot springs pouring out an estimated 8,600 liters of water per minute at temperatures between 60 and 80 degrees Celsius, much of it now easily accessed thanks to the many spas and resorts that have sprung up here. Afterwards, a fun thing to do is explore the area's many scenic walking trails, taking in such beautiful spots as the Shuraito no Taki Waterfall, the Nishikabashi Bridge, and the Crag of Futami Iwa. Number 3. Mount Moyo Ropeway. Towering high above Sapporo, the 531-meter-tall Mount Moyo, Moyoyama, is the most visited of the many hills surrounding the city due largely to the ease with which its summit can be reached. 
while a popular destination for walkers, by far the most frequented option is to take the aerial tramway. Mount Moyawa Ropeway, Moyuyama Ropeway, travels most of the way up the mountain before visitors transfer to a cable car that takes only minutes to reach the summit's upper station. Here, you'll not only be treated to great views over the city day from the station's observation deck, you can also stop at its on-site restaurant or enjoy a show at its planetarium. It's an especially pleasant journey to make at night when the city far below is lit up. Come winter, the Mount Moyua Ski Resort lures snow sports enthusiasts from far and wide for its many fine slopes, all of them easily accessible from Sapporo city center. Another hill of interest is Hitsuji Ga Oka, the Hill of Sheep, located to the southeast of Sapporo and also offering beautiful views over the city. Number 2. Hokkaido Shrine. Built in 1871, the Hokkaido Shrine, Hokkaido Jingu, is one of the country's most important, and visited, Shinto religious sites. Located adjacent to Maruyama Park, the shrine became even more popular after it was dedicated to the soul of much revered Emperor Meiji in 1964. The site is massive, and in addition to the huge temple building, it consists of a large garden replete with cherry blossoms, a big draw when they are in bloom each spring. Another favorite time to visit is New Year's, when special celebrations and festivities are conducted, or during the annual Sapporo festival every June, when long parades of traditionally dressed revelers visit the Hokkaido Shrine and pay homage to their ancestors and the spirits of the country's most revered religious leaders. Number 1. Odori Park. Odori Park, Odori Kun, is an oasis of green in Sapporo's downtown core that slices through the city. It stands in stark contrast to the high rises and offices around it, and serves as the best place from which to begin exploring this dynamic destination. Not unlike the many broad avenues typical of European cities like Paris, its name in fact translates literally as large street, which it once was. This delightfully wide one and a half kilometer long stretch of park features a broad open space with gardens, fountains, and art sculptures. It also connects many of the city's most interesting attractions, such as the Sapporo TV Tower and various museums and galleries, as well as shopping and entertainment districts. Odori Park also serves as an important venue for cultural events, including the Spring Sapporo Lilac Festival and the always popular Sapporo Snow Festival. It's also close to the underground shopping area and business district of Sapporo. Now if all of that isn't enough to convince you that Odori Park deserves to be the number one place to visit on my list just think about this during World War II, the Odori Park was given over to potato production due to food shortages. Well that is it for my top 10 places that you can visit in Sapporo, Japan. Let me know in the comments below which country to explore next. You can find me on Instagram at Traveling Nebula. If you would like to know the top 10 places that you can visit in the city of Hiroshima, Japan, check out this video right here in episode 4 of our 11 episode Japan series.